All right, thanks, Richard. Now for our top story tonight. The investigation continues in the case of a video that went viral showing Tuscaloosa police officers forcefully arresting three students on November the 8th. WVUA 23 Sarah Macaluso has the latest on that investigation. Sarah. Philip, early this morning, the Tuscaloosa Police Department released the body cam video of the arrest of three University of Alabama students earlier this month. Police Chief Steve Anderson says the purpose of releasing this video is to remain transparent throughout the investigation. Yeah, crime wow. change it to a 1080, because I want the number. Excuse me. Excuse Excuse me. Let, me yeah, let me explain something to you, Parker. Excuse me. Get your Excuse me. No, sir. No, 41, sir. 41 headquarters. Start me another unit to these Morgan apartments. No, sir. Get out of my The video you are seeing is released from the body cameras of officers who were called to the 12th Avenue Place apartment complex on November 8th. No, sir. No, 41, sir. 41 headquarters. The call was in response to a noise complaint which led to the arrest of three UA students and three Tuscaloosa police officers being put on paid leave. Soon after, videos surfaced showing officers forcefully pulling the three students out of the apartment. Officers used a stun gun on one person and repeatedly hit another with a baton. Tuscaloosa Police Chief Steve Anderson says many legal questions have come up with the release of the body cam video. Were the officers legally within their right to go within the, into the apartment? Based on what I've seen, no. And that's something that we're looking at and, and making sure that we have the basis covered on that and making sure that I'm correct on that. But my opinion of what I've seen in the video is that the officer didn't have the right to enter the apartment at that time and, and neither did he have the uh, right to remove the individuals from the apartment at that time. Anderson says the release of the video gives the department an opportunity to focus on situations like this and how to handle them in the future. We've already taken some steps in addressing some of the issues that, are, that have been seen in the video with the officers and we will continue to train the officers on different things as we go about this uh, task of investigating the case and also ensuring that we don't have any problems like this again. Community members took to Facebook when they saw the body cam footage and many comment on the video not showing the complete altercation. Chief Anderson says the initial approach by the officer shows the officer in the doorway, but soon after his body cam falls off and doesn't come back on until the arrests are taking place. Chief Anderson also says the only video edited out of the body cam footage is when the students were giving personal information to officers. Live tonight, I'm Sarah Macaluso, WVUA 23 News.